world of movie melee i am your host caleb coho back again uh with another installment of the singles division joining me on the desk tonight is caleb lobo boatman and we got ourselves two competitors who are much better than the record suggests and i think we're gonna see that proven tonight yeah absolutely we've got uh dylan has had some bad luck brandon has had some uh great games against tough opponents so uh should be an interesting match uh dylan uh we saw towards the end of last year brandon i don't think we have seen since early last year so good to have him back good to have dylan back let's bring him in absolutely we'll go ahead we'll start uh talking to our competitors today brandon uh you are back uh how are you sure. how are you feeling your thoughts on being back in the ring your thoughts on dylan uh your opponent tonight i'm uh, super excited to play to play uh, uh co i really am you know I, I always love playing i love playing in this division and yeah i i think boatman's right i think it's been a bit seven back here i think it was about a year from now since last time but i'm back i'm ready to play and i'm i'm wishing Dylan the best of luck but i really want to win too so <laughs> Absolutely. I like the mentality. We'll go ahead. We'll bring in your opponent tonight, Dylan Manthine, his manager. Dylan, you uh, won the uh, last one standing last time we saw you. Uh, so you do have that in your back pocket, but you are back in the singles division here today. Thoughts on the uh, brand today? Thoughts on uh, your return to singles? Yeah, I feel pretty good about it. I, I respect Brandon a lot. I mean, yeah, he's pushed some very tough people to the limit. And I mean, I also just respect like his attitude towards the game, I think is really respectable. So yeah, I'm excited for the match today. I'm looking, um, at, Cody. I'm looking at Cody. I know something's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this season of Melee, me and Dylan have just like, we're taking it easy. We're playing games. We're having fun. We're not taking it too, we're not being stressed out. We're, we're controlling what we can control, and at the end of the day, he has what everybody in this division wants, and he can pull the trigger whenever he wants. So at that point, he's got a title shot whenever he wants it in any division, so any of the teams or singles. So at that point, Brandon's a great guy. There's nothing wrong if he wins. We think he's got everything to do if he wins. If not, it's just not the luck of the draw tonight. But I think he has what it takes to take home the W tonight. Absolutely. Well, we'll go ahead. We'll take a better Cody for now. We'll get into round number one, which works like this. You're each going to need a whiteboard as you will get eight questions from eight different areas within the realm of movies. Should you get all eight questions correct, you'll be issued a bonus question. Each question worth one point apiece. You have three repeats for the entirety of the match and a challenge rule. Any questions as we get into round number one? Uh, no, sir. All right. Then your first question comes in the category of drama. What 2020s film is about a child coming of age in Northern Ireland during a conflict between Protestants and Catholics? This you just know, sounds this like a regular can... Sunday in the morning. <laughs> this is the first time we used uh, 2020s, I think, as like a qualifier instead of just saying like the year or recent releases. How does Five, that make you feel? Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Time is a never expanding ball of death. Let's go to Brandon. I got nothing, guys. I'll go and Dylan. Belfast. Wow, that's right. That is yeah. correct. Yeah, Belfast. That's right. Uh, one nothing. Dylan's leaves. We get to the next question, Boat. Category of comedy. Who directed The Seven Year Itch, One, Two, Three, and Love in the Afternoon? So, speaking of, of Des Moines and conflicts between bodies of people, uh, how often do explosions happen in downtown Des Moines? I feel like that's a common occurrence on a Saturday night. I, I don't think it is. <laughs> Des Moines, a constant war zone. Three, two, one. Pins down. Uh, let's go to Dylan. Billy Wilder. <laughs> and Brandon. No, that was it. No, nothing. Billy <laughs> Wilder is correct. Uh, so, uh, we move on to your third question in the category of romance. In broadcast news, at what kind of location did Jane and Tom last see each other before they reunite at his wedding? You want to know? both been to weddings. Yeah, go ahead. You want to know something funny? I would love to hear all the funny. I didn't write this question. That oh. is funny. That is funny. Five. You would be the one that would ride with the guess, Three, actually. Two. One. Pens down. Let's go to Dylan. I said diner. And Brandon. I put a diner as well. Both, Both incorrect. Uh, we are looking for an airport. An airport. Ah, okay. 
Uh, so no perfect rounds as we get to your next question. Uh, two nothing lead for Dylan Boat. Two nothing lead as we get into your next question. Category of scores and soundtracks. What band performed the song Heathens for Suicide Squad? There was a question for the peanut gallery asking what part of Des Moines did I go to? Uh, that would be Jordan Creek. Uh, I you visited went downtown. You went downtown. We did go. To, we did go downtown, and we went to <coughs> Ankeny and uh, all sorts of places. Three, two, one. It's crazy. That's technically not Des Moines, but anyway, let's go to Brandon. I hope I got the number right. Twenty-one pilots and Dylan. Twenty-one pilots. Twenty-one pilots is correct. So nice. three-one, Dylan. As we get to your next question. Uh, as we are past the halfway point in the round in the category of the 1970s. Peter Falk and John Cassavetes play the title characters in what 1970s film? You know what's funny? I should be a big 21 Pilots fan on paper, but they don't really do too much for me. That is weird, especially with like the concept albums and uh, the, 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 the weird music. And I feel like Level of Concern would be your jam. Three, two. One, I don't hate them. I just can't get into them. Let's go to Dylan. Mikey and Nikki. And Brandon. I don't have that one either. Mikey and Nikki is correct. <laughs> so, 4 1, Dylan, as we get to your next question, Boat. Category 2000s. Name both actresses who played the wives to Enos and Jack in Brokeback Mountain. I hate that name. I'm not Brokeback a fan of the movie, Mountain? but I also, I also hate that. Yeah, I hate the name Brokeback Mountain. What a terrible name for a movie. Uh, no, I meant, I meant the character name. The, the, the weird the anus. I'm not a fan. I don't like it. Four. I don't like the name. Two. Repeat the question. Oh. That is Dylan's first repeat. Name, oh, category 2000s. Name both actresses who play the wives to Enos and Jack in Brokeback Mountain. And what if it was Broke Enos Mountain? That makes that's worse. That's worse. If it was called Broke Enos Mountain, I'm happy. Crash one best picture. Five, oh my gosh. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down. Let's go to Dylan. I said Michelle Williams, and then I tried to scribble Anne Hathaway. I think we can accept that, Anne Brennan. I see it. Yeah. Uh, Anne Hathaway, and Michelle Williams. Oh, correct. I, I will. Yeah, I think we can accept both those answers. Five to two for Dylan. As we get to your pent ultimate question in the category of the 1990s, what 1999 rom com features the characters Anna Scott, Will Facker, and Spike? 1999, a very good year for everything. Yeah. Especially for people named Caleb. Yeah, very good year for us. The, the two best maybe my best year okay hey listen I, I would i would go that far as being correct yeah three oh can you repeat sorry sure thing that is brandon's first repeat uh category 1990s what 1999 rom-com features the characters anna scott will facker and spike i i, I think you're right that's the best year for people named Caleb. period stop. it was all downhill from there it was all downhill Starting at 2000. Four, three, two, one. Let's go to Dylan. I just said Notting Hill. And Brynn. I said can't hardly wait. Notting Hill is correct. Oh, so, okay. Uh, right. It is six to two. Dylan's lead as we get to the final question of the round, boat. Final question comes in the category sci-fi fantasy. How does the titular blob come to Earth in 1958's The Blob? Did you just call me Blob? I'm not going to lie. That was exactly where I went. <laughs> For a high <laughs> mind. You, you, you can take the player out of fandom. You can't take the fandom out of the player. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, um, let's go to Brandon. I play a spaceship. And Dylan. In a meteor? Meteor is correct. Damn, dude. That's nice. Cool. So at the end of round number one. Dylan leads seven to two, but anything can happen to get into round number two, which works like this. This is the lovely wheel round. We're going to bring up a lovely wheel from wheelside.com. If you like the category you land on, you're going to get five questions worth two points a piece. You can opt to multiple choice, but it devalues down to being only worth one. If you don't like what you land on the first time, you can respin, but you're stuck with every land on the second time. Of course, if you land on opponent's choice, you cannot spin off of that. Uh, both players have two repeats remaining and a challenge. Any questions as we get into round number two? 
Nope. Be aware, nope. gentlemen. Stealing is available in this round. We'll go ahead and we'll bring in Cody. As Dylan, you are in the lead. Would you like to go first or defer to Brandon? <coughs> Cody? There he is. <laughs> yeah, they say it and then they don't even do it. Wow, good job. Good job. Um, damn airport away from perfect round. Uh, I say we let him spin. This okay. wheel's got some things that I don't want right now. So True. Brandon can do it. All right. All right. All right, so Brandon, you'll be going first, and this will be your spin, as brought to you by the lovely Vanna White himself, Caleb Bowman. Nice. Spin <laughs> is away. And it lands, it lands on coming of age flat. <laughs> Would you like to keep that or spin again? Um, actually, I'll take that. All, All right, right Bo, do you want to go ahead and give him his questions in coming of age slash team? Yes, I will. Bring in your questions in coming of age slash team. If I can find them. There they are. Who plays convenience store clerk Rolo in Juno? Uh, Rain Wilson. That's correct for two points. What is the nickname of John Cryer's character in Pretty in Pink? Oh. I'll know it if I hear it. Can you get multiple choice, please? Multiple choice options are A, Banksy, B, Booth, C, Ducky, D, Mouth. Ducky. Correct for one point. On what day of the week do the plastics wear pink in Mean Girls? Fridays. That is incorrect. Dylan, for a oh, point deal. Wednesdays. Oh, it is that's Wednesdays. Correct. Oh, my gosh. That's right. <clears throat> okay. Thanks, you. Brandon, your penultimate question, category of coming of age slash scene. What coming of age film features a cast that includes Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and Brendan Fraser? High Society. That is incorrect. Uh, Dylan for the two point steal. School ties? That is correct for two points. That's point. what I was thinking that whole thing. <clears throat> And your final question, Brandon, in the category of coming of age slash teen. What sport does Doughboy's brother Ricky play in Boys in the Hood? Basketball. That is incorrect, Dylan, for the two-point steal. Football. That is correct for two points. Massive play, Dylan. Goes there for Dylan. Nice. Gets himself up nice. For 13, Brandon has five as we will bring back the wheel for Dylan Spin as well as the manager, <laughs> Cody. That's so fetch. Wow. <laughs> Dylan, this is your first spin, and it lands on... Spinner's Choice. Spinner's Choice. Fuck no. Damn. Oh, Jim Jarvis. Oh, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, because I think you can multiple into it, right? Don't yeah. You? yeah. What, we'll take what Jim Jarvis. Uh, no, we'll yeah. That. Yeah, we're taking that. Yeah. All right, Jim Jarmusch is what you've chosen. I'll go ahead and I will uh, give to you. There we go. I'll go ahead and give to you your questions in Jim Jarmusch. Your first question: What is the name of Laura's daughter who attempts to seduce Don in Broken Flowers? Lolita. That is correct for two points. Your second question: What gift does the old man give to Patterson at the waterfall near the end of Patterson? It's a notebook. That's correct for two more points. Your third question. What alias does Adam use while getting blood from the blood banks in Only Lovers Left Alive? Dr. Faust. That is correct for two more points. If Dylan does hit this question uh, for any value, uh, this will be over. So your penultimate question, Dylan and Jim Jarmusch. For what crime is Bob the Italian in prison in Down by Law? Murder. That is incorrect. Brandon, the chance for a two-point steal. Can I get a repeat of the question? I'm sorry. Uh, I'll use uh, a repeat. That's fine. That's your second repeat. Yeah. For what crime is Bob the Italian in prison in Down by Law? Uh, robbing a bank. <laughs> and your winner. By way of knockout, Dylan Van Thine 
The answer we had was manslaughter. What a game. Uh, we'll go ahead and take our, our players out tonight. Boat, that was one hell of a showing from Dylan. Uh, not, not a bad showing from Brandon. Just came down to Dylan came to play. Thoughts on the match? Yeah. Um, it was a good match. Uh, let's go to post-match interviews. Absolutely. We'll go ahead. We will start with our uh, unfortunate loser today, uh, Brandon. You put up a solid game, oh. solid numbers for a, a return. Maybe I, a little bit of rust on the gears. Uh, thoughts on your performance today? I, I appreciate the kind words, Koho. I, I, I really do. I'm not happy with how I did today. But with Dylan getting the last man standing, I knew it was going to be a tough fight. And then he happened to get his strength in the wheel. And then I thought I knew more about coming of age. I was even confident in a couple of my answers. And they ended up being wrong. So that's just how it goes. Um, I'm still happy to play, guys. For sure. I, I think that uh, maybe just rushing a couple of those answers, uh, yeah. lost a couple of crucial steals, I think that just comes with being a little out of practice. I think that you absolutely showed that you you still have the knowledge to play. You still have the game to play, maybe just a little bit of rust. Uh, but I think you put up a really solid return performance. Is there anyone you are hoping to play next uh, time you're in the main lane? Not really. I'm just hoping to play again. I know my record is not that good, but I'll be happy to play whoever comes in my, comes my way. I'm sure we will see you uh, again, uh, for sure. Uh, and whoever it is, I'm sure you're going to give them one hell of a run. Uh, <laughs> so thank you for being here. We bring in our winner today, Dylan, his manager, Cody. Uh, a knockout, I'm sure, is not the result you were expecting coming into this, but with the performance you put up today, wow, that was a light show. Thoughts on your performance today? No, I feel good. Uh, yeah, I mean, even though what Cody was saying tr was true, whereas like that, I didn't have a whole lot of pressure on me because I have the title shot in my back pocket. I still wanted to make a, you know, have put up a good showing and show that at least that I, it wasn't a fluke. I don't think the last one standing, I think I'm actually a decent player and uh, yeah, I think uh, so I'm pretty happy with that performance overall. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, as a, as a manager, I said those words to like come uh, Dylan's nerves down before playing because I know how stressed he was last season. Like we talked uh, numerous times, like in between, just he just and then just shows like I know his exact feeling. Like after winning the last one standing, like people are like he got a late number, and, like he just got lucky at the last round. But I think tonight, like he's proven like how good of a player he's becoming. Like. He's gaining knowledge. We know behind the scenes of how much work he's, like, putting in, like, in study sessions and stuff. So he's working to be good. I mean, if you would have said, like, when he first debuted, all those classic questions would have came up, like, how good would have Dylan done? Probably not great. And he's answering all of them at that point. So, I mean, he missed, what, two questions total in his, like, math? Yeah. Like, overall, I mean, that's just wrong day. And he got three crucial steals that he had to have the answer to with no help and no guidance. So, um, no, I couldn't be more proud of Dylan. And I think this is exactly what he needed to boost his confidence and, like, keep moving forward and knows how to improve. So, dude, for sure. this is awesome. For like, sure. I, I mean, easy day for us. That was crazy. I, Brandon's I a way better is, player than he showed up. I yeah. think this is definitely a statement win. This with the last one standing, I think you are definitely putting the league a bit on notice with, uh, at the very least, being maybe the most improved player in the game right now. Uh, from last season to this. I think you're putting up insane numbers and having a great start to the season. Uh, with this win, is there anyone that you are hoping to face uh, with the next match? Cody? We're not one. Like, no, normally I'm the douchebag that comes in here and just, like, challenges somebody and yells somebody's name. I just want I just want Dylan to play another match at that point. I don't care who it is. I want him to, I want him to like, go the distance. I want him to answer some round three questions because I think that's always the tell of our game, like how you do in round three. So uh, yeah, I just want a competitive game of whoever he's playing next. And I think just building towards that tournament, I think he can definitely do some uns like he did in the first year. I think he can unseat some big players. So I think he can do that. So Absolutely. I don't really care. Well, we will, we will take that that uncharacteristic answer from Cody, and we will wrap this one up, and we'll hopefully so see fetch. you real soon. So fast, Cody. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. This has been another really solid match of Movie Melee. Thank you to Dylan. Thank you to Brandon. Thank you to Cody. That has been Boat. I have been Coho, and this has been Movie Melee. We'll see you guys real soon with another great match. Goodbye. Storm in the castle.
that's all. Take it away. Take it away. Bye.